Jean Michel, we're starting. Okay, we're all ready finally. Um, what do, What do you think about New York? Why'd you come here? Well, I was born here. You were born here, and you've always lived here. Oh uh, yes. Have you traveled a lot? Yes. Could you live anywhere else? Um. Sure. Do you think um, this is a cultural center? Um, no more or less than any other big city. Do you like how the um, art market is set up here? How is it set up here? How is it set up here? You could tell us more about it. <laughs> like who, who makes the decisions? The artists or their mar marchands? Which decisions? Decisions on the work that you make. Like what you have to paint or not, or how you should paint it, or where it's exhibited or not. Hmm. I don't know how to answer that question. Where do you think um, your work was most liked? In the, in the United States or in Europe? Or most understood? I don't know how to answer such an ultimatum because I, th I think there's people that like my work everywhere. So for me to say, w you know, it's liked more one place than another is sort of, you know, I don't, I don't know how to answer that either. No, but that's fine. You say it's liked everywhere. That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. And, and your own style, where do you think it comes from? That's, um... It's, it's a Creole, I guess, of uh, Europe and Africa. What I mean by Creole is, I mean, a, I mean a mix. The way that Africans speak French in Haiti, I mean, that's what I mean. And have you had, like, idols or artists that you like very much their work that you think maybe might have influenced you? Mm. I guess Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker. Um, what do you think about abstraction? Does it have anything to do with your work? Yeah, yeah, in some parts, yeah. Abstraction's a good, if it wasn't for, you know, abstraction's a good thing, or else we'd still be in the Renaissance.
what role do you think pop art has played in general in the development of art? Mm, pop art is as important as Dada is. Do you feel you're like a son of pop art? No. Do you feel your work has any relation with it? No, no, no. Do you know of Do you know of any other work that's done in Europe, in Germany, or the Italians? Or people like uh, Miguel Barceló, he's from Barcelona. Do I know his work? Yes, uh, yes, I do, of course. And what do you think in general about what's coming out of Europe? You know, some good and some bad. Of course, there's a lot more bad than good. But, but the same tr is true with America. Do you think experience is important for a person? In life experience? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. Are your paintings based on concrete experiences or in general? Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to say my, my experience does have something to do with what I paint. Back to the previous question, what would you like to happen to you tomorrow, all of a sudden? That question is sort of fantasy-oriented. It's hard, very hard for me to, to answer it. Well, let's go back to art or painting in general. Do you think it's possible to bluff in painting? It's definitely been done. It's been done, yeah. Are you happy with your present situation? Some parts of it. What, what would you like to change? Or what is it you're happy with and what is it that you're not and you'd like to change? Actually, I have to say that I'm, that I'm happy that I can do what I want to do and, and survive doing that. But you'd like something else? I don't, I don't make wishes, you know, it's, it's hard for me to, you know, I never wish, for, I don't wish for what I want. Do you enjoy, um, while you're painting? Oh, uh, sure, yeah, sure I do. How many hours a day do you work? Off and on all day.
Could you imagine yourself painting every single minute of life, like every single moment? No. When did you feel you were a painter for the first time? I was about 18 years old. What um, does Andy Warhol mean for you, or mean to you? He's an, he's an important artist. And in general, but more personally, He's a good friend. What are you working on right now? Oh. Two thousand drawings. Everything that we see here now? Most of all, just the paintings are out now, but um. And you're just stuff, I guess. Yeah. Are these all finished? Um. Or are you working on them? Some of them are. And how is your art usually sold? In exhibits? People come and. No, I have, I have, I have paintings to her, and she sells them. How important is money for you? Oh, very important. Like how important? Well, I, I've been I've been completely without it before, so I know how important it is. Does it give you freedom? Mm. Yeah, it's like the, it's the closest thing to freedom. And when you paint, do you kind of have a mental vision of what you're going to do before you actually go down and do it? Or does it kind of come out? Not, not at all. I, I do it as I go along. Do you feel comfortable with people? Some people, I mean, yeah, you know. These questions, though, they're, they're like, you know, I don't know, you know, do, do, do you wish you had feet or you wish you didn't have feet or, you know, how would you live without a head? I mean, they're, they're very strange. You know. When, you know, to ask me if I feel comfortable with people or not. I, mean, I don't know how to answer, you know, because I feel comfortable with some people and don't feel comfortable with others, you know. And I don't know. It's as if people, people were, were, were one thing, you know, and, and I don't, I don't see it that way. It's all people being, you know, one thing. And I, you know, and I'm another thing, you know. There's me and there's people. I don't, I don't see it that way. Like some people who like to be alone most of the time, and people around. Well, I do like to, I do like to be alone most of the time, but but I, I don't mind people, you know. But I, I prefer to be alone most of the time. And I guess you don't like interviews that much either. Well, they're difficult. <laughs>